that down. Let's go on to this. Ben Stiller is actually, you know what? When I think about a guy we don't talk about enough, he, he has actually made some of my favorite comedies. And maybe biggest of them all for me is, or at least that he appeared in everything, Dodgeball. I love him in Dodgeball. Love him so much. Um, anyway, news has just come out in The Hollywood Reporter that says, Ben Stiller to produce, act in a pickleball comedy yeah. called The Dink, which will also have uh, Jake Johnson from uh, New Girl, Mary uh, Steenburgen, and Ed Harris are going to be appearing in the film. And no, it is not a dodgeball sequel. I actually at first just thought it was going to naturally be a dodgeball sequel. I, I thought, you know, the guys at, what's it called? Average Joe Jim? Right. Oh, yeah. are now getting into pickleball. But no, mm -hmm. that's not the case. It's a that totally new fun. movie. And it says this. After their collaboration on Nutcrackers, Ben Stiller's uh, Red Hour Films and Rivulette Films will re-team for the pickleball comedy, The Dink. Jake Johnson from New Girl has nabbed the leading role as he plays a washed-up tennis pro who, to save a club in crisis and win his father's respect, who's probably going to be Ed Harris, does the one thing he swore he'd never do, play pickleball the cast includes mary uh, steenbergen and ed harris while stiller and former tennis champion andy roddick will have key supporting roles as well and it's going to be directed by josh greenbaum who by the way recently directed strays with uh, will ferrell which i thought was nobody saw it to film totally bombed at the box office it is Freaking wickedly funny. I laughed so hard in Strays. And I believe he's a good Canadian kid. I think Josh Greenbaum is a good Canadian kid. Oh, by the way, he also directed a whole bunch of episodes of New Girl, which that then sense. that makes sense with the right, yeah, exactly. Jake Johnson connection and everything yeah. like that. Look, I'll, this has got me. I don't care. Ben Stiller producing and going to be in a pickleball comedy. I don't care. Even if it's nothing like Dodgeball. I'm completely on board with this. I love the supporting cast in it. I, I love Jake Johnson, actually. I, I think he's actually really great. I enjoy his work very, very much. I even liked him in The Mummy. Whoa. Yeah. I even liked him in The Mummy. What was that Listen. movie? Well, go ahead. Oh, no. Let's Be Cops? It. Yeah, let's be cops. Let's be cops <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. How did I know that was the one you were cops. thinking? It's fun and stupid. I didn't hate it. I, I kind of like it. <laughs> yep. I'm so biased because he's he is Logan. Logan is him. <laughs> <laughs> and so every time I see him in movies, I'm like, oh, my husband. That's nice. <laughs> there he is. I love him. He's um. Great. Anyway, I I'm excited about this because I love all this stuff. I don't think we've seen Ben Stiller do enough comedy recently. Well, that's that's true. He's yeah. been because he's been spreading his wings like yeah. with directing, producing, and doing a lot of very interesting stuff. But I, I just I wish, miss him in comedy. I wish Rip Torn was still with us because oh. I would have loved to have seen him if there was a role. I don't know the tone of this movie, but listen, him explaining the five principles uh, of pickleball. God, One yeah. of the greatest lines in any comedy movie ever <laughs> is still to this day. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> That's it. That's one of the greatest single lines. And it's true. <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Uh, anyway, Chris, uh, obviously, other than the fact that your husband is apparently in yeah, this. Yeah. What do you think about the sounds of this? Are you excited about it? I think it sounds fun and dumb. I like it. Both, I'm into yep. that. I, pickleball is one of those things that completely eludes me. My parents are very stereotypical, and they retired to Naples, Florida. And pickleball how are they doing by the way oh they're good actually they had a hurricane party last night oh, oh good um, good on there they're, they're very very high up so they have a whole bunch of people over and my dad just empties out his scotch uh collection basically and okay. make sure that no one has to wade through water uh they have a generator too which is very very helpful. oh that's handy. yeah and then my mom's gonna fly out here today supposedly oh. i was like sure the airport's sure, open? Marie. we'll see we'll okay. find out but uh they they do not play pickleball but all their friends are obsessed with it and my understanding yeah. and i'm so sorry is that it was just kind of a game that was made up from leftovers of other games where it was just oh we've got a wiffle ball and like, some badminton like basketball. paddle kind of yeah it's a very basketball origin for it's older people tennis for people who are not athletic Okay. Don't but get the me thing wrong. Is, there are the elite level pickleball players. But the thing is, now they've gone there, right? Yeah. Now the yeah. athletic people have like, but well, that's we're going to. Top, top people. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. have to be an athlete no, of no, any no. kind to play pickleball. Okay. My cousin's in a league, though. Oh. They're pretty, like, 
They're pretty like, good. Like very serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. It took over so fast. Yeah. You know, I, there was a news story I remember watching when pickleball was first coming out, and like uh, tennis players, they would use the tennis courts, and there would be like arguments and whatever because like tennis players wouldn't. Want but you can't play it on test. Like you. No, need no, a... but but they would oh, use yeah. a one side of just for the oh, floor. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And now when you walk by a lot of the tennis courts, like even at San Diego, where where you walk through the um, the uh, the the sports where they play uh the baseball team plays at right, the stadium yeah they have tennis courts there but right next there's pickleball they have, yeah that's right the last time we were there in san diego yeah, they so have pickleball it, courts right by petco stadium and and wasn't it dwayne johnson who just recently like bought a huge stake in like the professional wick uh, pickleball I mean, that's that's right. Right. like the fastest growing sport in america it'd be a great business move i mean he probably... i'm pickleball. here at the santa monica pickleball court with some terramana tequila ready to play some pickleball <laughs> with some great folks and that's it it's for people who are don't have you don't have to be athletes you can go with a case of beer and just have some fun and pretend you're doing oh, something athletic it's like me with golf i don't play the game but i like the golf cart and i like drinking there you go. So pick a ball. It's kind of me with golf too. I just ride. Along. I'm a, yeah, I'm a ride along. I just along. want to be a passenger with a beer. Yeah. I'm a ride along. <laughs> Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E.com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I think this sounds great. Anything that gets Ben Stiller kind of back into comedy, I'm completely there. God, where is my Mystery Men sequel? Uh, Seriously. Oh, God, please, please do a Mystery Men sequel. Listen, Hank Azaria is still with us. William H. Macy is still with us. Jeffrey Rush is still with us. Come on, figure something out. Anyway, guys, whatever you think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.